Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I have a tutorial for you in Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool looking Lomo effect. So some of the effects you may see uh, via Instagram or some of the filters that you may be putting on your photos in some of those applications. So it'll look something like this and put a little black border around it if you want to. So it makes it look a little more rustic, a little more old timey. Uh, and of course I've got an old photo here to do that with. So let's go ahead and jump into to it so it's a very simple uh, technique so the first things first you want to unlock your photo uh, layer here so go ahead and double click that background layer if it's your photo and then click OK and that way you're now unlocked on your layer once we do that the first thing we want to do is go ahead and adjust the exposure and the offset so go down here uh, to this little option here and then go to exposure click on exposure you'll then see the exposure properties come available to you they'll be like this here depending on the version of photo Photoshop that you are using and then what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to bump that exposure up just a bit maybe around uh, 0 0.60 0 0.75 depending on uh, the effect you're trying to achieve and then take that offset down just a little bit to take out the lights a little bit and bring forth some of those shadows and then once we do that you can close out of the exposure tab now Let's go back down to that same thing and let's adjust our curves. So we're gonna add some curves here uh, and we're gonna leave it on our default. So on the default curve, what we want to do is we want to bring the low end down a little bit, just like so, and then bring the upper end of it up just slightly, just like that. So make your curve look just like mine does there. And then once you're done, close out of that as well. Next, we're going to add some more curves or adjust some more curves uh, and the colors of the RGB. So go ahead and click the curves once more and then click on the RGB drop down and then select red first. Once you have your red curve selected, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring it down on the bottom just slightly. So take your red down just slightly, just like that, and then now select our green. So we're going to select our green, and then on the green, we're going to go up just a little bit on the upper end, right like that. So bring it up slightly, and again, it's going to depend on the effect that you're trying to achieve here, and then go down to blue, and then on blue, you want to take it down a good bit. So on the bottom there, you want to take it down a good Good bit on the blues to give it that nice old timey feeling to it now once we've done that we've got our nice low mo effect just like you would if you were to apply a filter uh, and then if we go here and we deselect or make all of those invisible all of those effects we'll see our original photo and then make those all available to us again and we're getting that nice color old timey rustic feeling that low mo effect and then now if you want to go add a nice black border around it you can do a number of things uh, but the first thing you can do is you can go here select your paint bucket tool um, go ahead and add a new layer and then paint all of it black and then grab your rectangle uh, marquee tool just like so and then depending on how big or how wide you want that border to be selected like so uh, and then once we do that hit the delete key on your keyboard and that puts a nice little black border around your photo so anyways guys this is just a quick tutorial on how to create a low mo effect within photoshop if you have any questions put those in the comment box below as always i enjoy uh, teaching you guys getting to know you guys uh, subscribe to my channel for more great tech content tutorials and news and i will see you guys next time